Hey guys, how's it going? Today I'm going to be doing a little bit of a different video. I'm going to be making a game for a video. Um, I got no plans for this except for a little bit of plans for what the game's going to be like. Um, I'm going to be making it in Unity because that's like the only thing I know how to make a game in. So the first thing I'm going to do before I even open Unity, Unity is I'm going to open up paint.net. I'm going to design a little bit of a character. And no, I'm not. I'm not going to do that. No. I'm going to open up my 16 by 16 sprite grid that I already have here. Um, this is really easy. jumping animation there and um, I think that's just about all we need this little dude here so um I'm just going to pop to there save no 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 save as alien dude my names are amazing oh there's OBS Okay, he's alien dude here. And now let's open up Unity. Alright, let's um, make a new project here. And let's call this um, a. I don't know. Let's call it, I don't know, 2D project and let's create project. Alright, so the project is up. Let's get our little alien dude and let's go across and flop him in. There you go, alien dude. So now let's just do the little bit of. That needs to be 16 pixels per unit because it's 16 by 16. Point no filter, none apply. Now, and this has to be multiple. Let's go into the sprite editor. And let's select all the different zones that we want for this little layer to do. Okay. Apply. Okay, so now if we open up here, we'll have a bunch of different ones. So let's just drag one of them in here now, and I we're gonna need a ground. So let's um, create a 3D object cube. Just for now. I know it's 2D, but we can have 3D in there. Okay, let's add a um, box collider onto this guy and let's add a rigid body 2D onto this guy. So this guy should fall to the ground. To the ground, not through the ground. What's going on there? Zero. Zero. He's already falling through the ground, that's not good. Um, and I think I know why. Let's just create a 2D sprite and it can just be empty or not. No, nope, apparently it can't be empty. Let's just grab um, a basic block one from my desktop. I don't even know what this is from. Let's put that in there. Let's just stretch it out. Oh, Jesus. It's not what I want, but that's fine. I can just put it there. And let's put a. Not. Let's put a box collider. Now, hopefully, he should fly. There we go. So at the moment, we can't move him around, and there's a little border. And there's a problem with that. What, I'm, what we need to do to fix that is. Project settings, and then it's quality. Let's just get rid of all these. On the ultra. Okay. Should apply automatically. So now 
back play. Hopefully that wouldn't be four to one show. There we go. Okay. Nice. So now we have this little dude, and now we need to add a script to actually be able to make him move. Um. Uh, player control. I'll just do play control. It's a bit easier. Let's add a little bit of code to actually enable my little guy to move. So let's go. Okay, so this is a very basic movement script that should theoretically allow our little player to move. So if we just drag this onto little player like that. Let's make move speed 10 maybe. Let's see how that goes. And let's see. Oh. Okay. 100. Or oh, 1000. Let's try it out. I see what I've done wrong here. So then hopefully, we'll be able to move. But I don't have a jumping script in yet. And that's very fast movement. And, okay. So now, let's add in a jumping script. So the reason you have it as a public variable um, is that you can edit it in here. So I can go jump height 100. See if that's good. That's very, very low. So let's make it jump speed, jump height 200 or maybe 300. Let's see how that works. Perfect. Now the only problem is this, and this is called the Flappy Bird Effect. This is when you can infinitely jump up in the air. It's not good. So let's... Let's fix this, if I remember how. <laughs> Okay, let's see if this works. It should work perfectly fine. So it does work perfectly fine, except for Gloxy. We don't want you to be able to jump on, and you can pretty darn easily wall jump. which I think wall jumping would be a cool mechanic in this. <laughs> it's a bit weird, but um, can you also ceiling jump? No. Apparently you can't ceiling jump. Hang on, let me make it a little bit lower. Oh! I forgot about that bug. <laughs> Make sure you put on freeze rotation for the constraints of the rigid body. That's definitely important because otherwise you can roll off. See, I can't roll off now, which is good. Okay, sweet. So now I've got my little character moving, which is always good. Um, now in this script, what I'm going to do is make a little script that flips the player. I think that's the correct way. Ok, 
Okay, this guy, this little dude is moving way too fast. So let's make his move speed like 500 maybe. It's a lot better. So you can see now that he, the player is rotating and that saved me having to make a bunch of other sprites. So you can see his eyes are moving and his legs are moving. He's rotating. Alright, now um, now it's time to actually do the animations of him walking. Now let's see if it works. Yay! <laughs> okay. Anyway, um, now what I'm going to do is with Alien Dude, I'm going to edit his collider a little bit. Let's go back to scene. And I'm going to make it a bit smaller. Now, there's a reason I'm doing this. It's because I'm going to create empty a box collider. And now I want this to be not there, but covering all of that. There we go. So now he shouldn't be able to wall jump and stuff. But apparently he still can. Why is that? That collider is way smaller than that. One. Um. I got you. But, uh. Okay, so I think that might conclude the first episode of making a little game. I uh, hope you enjoyed, like, subscribe, whatever, and I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.